Friday night football at Mesquite High School draws a big crowd. And last October, one man in that crowd also grabbed the attention of parents and police. And that's what caught my eye at the game. This mother of one of the cheerleaders didn't want us to show her face, but she did want to share her concern. And all of a sudden, an officer came around me, um, started looking over his shoulder, leaning down, and then I seen him grab his camera and grab him by the shoulder and laid him out. Police arrested Dr. James Suma for improper photography, which is taking pictures without someone's permission with the intent to arouse or gratify the sexual desires of any person. It's a state jail felony. The police affidavit says detectives confiscated Dr. Suma's camera and found still pictures and videos, and the focal point of those images was on female legs or the buttocks region. It says surveillance video also shows Suma walking with some young girls, holding his left arm straight down to his side while holding the camera as still as possible. Police say Suma did not have any friends or relatives at the game and lives 20 miles away. It made my skin crawl. These are minors that have no say. If he's taking them because he's a photographer and he wants to use them for something, then get the permission from the parents. Dr. Suma, I'm Becky Oliver with Fox 4. Just wondering if we could ask you a couple quick questions. Yeah. We have an arrest affidavit, sir. We are wanting to talk to you about what happened out at the high school. Is there anything you have to say about that? Yeah. Dr. Suma didn't have any comment about his arrest. Police turned his case over to the district attorney's office in late March, but the DA has not taken it to the grand jury yet. Dr. Suma's case is not an isolated one. In April, this man was busted at a downtown Dallas Target for improper photography for taking pictures under the skirt of a high school student. He has not been indicted. But Jordan Smith admitted to officers that he was on his way to a sex addiction class and needs help. Records show he's currently on probation for indecent exposure. Smith was using this, his cell phone, which like most phones today, has a camera attached to it, making it easy to take pictures and videos without anyone noticing. As the technology has grown, so have the number of cases filed by police. But all of that may change in Texas. An appeals court in San Antonio ruled the improper photography statute unconstitutional because it's overly broad and that violates our First Amendment rights. The case is now before the State Court of Criminal Appeals waiting for a final ruling. The law has gotten very big and complicated. Professor so Lynn Rambo says the, the current law on the books really impacts too many people to the point of absurdity. You know, if a celebrity walks by scantily dressed and you take a picture without authorization, you are subject to prosecution and indictment under that statute. You see this as requiring a fix. I do. I do. The legislature needs to go back and amend the law to target the particular incident that the people are upset about. And that can be done. Right now, it's illegal. Defense attorney Toby Shook, who was not involved in either case, sees turmoil on the horizon. So you're going to be in that sticky situation where parents are going to want to lynch somebody. Shook says prosecutors will have their hands tied if the high court agrees with the lower court. All cases will be thrown out and cannot be refiled. Oh, I think you're going to have parents enraged, as any parent would, because obviously they want to protect their children, but law enforcement will be prevented from prosecuting these individuals if that statute's found unconstitutional. Back in Mesquite, these cheerleader moms are furious and frustrated. It just makes me like, feel like the law is failing me because, I mean, I have a daughter, she's a minor, she's at a school function where she should be protected. They are hoping lawmakers are listening. We need someone that is going to not allow these guys, or women even, to go and take these pictures of these kids without their knowledge, without their permission, without the parents' permission. They're minors, they're children, we need to protect them.